Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome back to Cat Tales. In the last episode, we went over to the Mystic Domain to try to start a little bit of an alliance with Alyssa. Thanks to all of the trouble that Leo has been giving us, we wanted to make sure that we had somebody else in the forest on our side. Alyssa isn't quite willing to become our friend just yet, so we will have to take some more trips down there, maybe give them some more catnip because they really seem to love that. But Mulby has finished making our storage room now, and it looks as if we can actually place things inside crates. Oh my gosh, that would make it so much easier to keep our herbs and our food. I didn't realize that these would be like actual boxes. Little storage chests for all of the different treasures that we've amassed over the many years in the forest. Oh my gosh, and they even fill up as well. That is so cute. So I'll have to get to work moving all of our stuff over there. Maybe that would be a good way to keep our snake lily under wraps too. Because we don't want our kittens getting into this stuff once they do wake up. Let's go say hello to them, say good morning before we head out for the day, bringing all of our gifts to uh, the Mystic Colony. <gasps> Raven! Oh my gosh! Our kittens are finally opening their eyes! Oh, Scout, you must be so excited! And little Raven, carry me, carry me! Oh, she wants to go out with us! Penny, Penny! That is adorable. Of course, Raven would be the very first one to open her eyes to. She has always been the most restless of the bunch, so she would want to uh, get out of her nest and start exploring the world with us. Well, I don't think you're quite ready to go out adventuring just yet, but we do have some lovely gifts over here. I wonder if we can start giving her gifts? Let's see, we'll start with the dove. Because, of course, we have to see which of our kittens is going to uh, love doves and rabbits the most. Yay, gift! Oh, that is so cute. Yeah, she really seemed to uh, like the dove. Let's try the rabbit next. Whoa, this for me? I like, I like. Oh, she might have liked the rabbit even more than the bird. All right, Scout, I think you have a little bit of competition. And then we'll try the banded darter too. Me like that, me like that. Oh, Raven, you might be the most adorable little kitty I have ever seen. So it seems like she might actually enjoy chasing little Smokey around the den. She is going to be a little master hunter just like Penny. Scout, have you seen? Of course you have, Raven has opened her eyes. What do you think we should have for dinner? Personally, I'm thinking squirrel sounds pretty good. Well, I think we probably do have some spare squirrels somewhere around here. It's good that he's thinking about what he's going to uh, feed the kittens later. But we've already given Raven her breakfast. A very big breakfast, in fact, of uh, rabbits and doves. So she should be all set as we go out for the day and try to impress the Mystic Colony once more. So let's bring our catnip again. We'll uh, probably offer that up to some of the cats there, because they really seem to enjoy it, especially mossy and crampy. Oh boy, I hope he didn't make any bad decisions. He said catnip kind of clouds his judgment. Penny must be so excited to tell all of the cats about uh, her kittens too. Let them know that pretty soon they'll be seeing uh, the kittens out of the den. All this rain is soaking my fur. I can't believe it. I hope it lets up soon. I'm drenched. Oh, poor Ember. I wish you had like a tree above you or something that you could stand underneath. Unfortunately, his shop is kind of open to the elements. Now, I did manage to catch some more of these ladybugs for Mare. I thought it would be nice to have all the different colors around his den. I got you this licorice root as a present. What do you think? Have a great day, Penny. Oh, thank you very much, Mare. We could take that as a little snack. Something to munch on as we go deep into a uh, mystic territory. Not enemy territory, though. We want to uh, start considering them as friends if possible. I happened upon a spare bass this morning. Thought maybe you could use it. It's yours now. Have a good one, Penny. Thank you so much. Lots of food to take with us. So it's a good thing that uh, our friends are looking out for us. And Missy is yet again thinking about getting her fur dyed. So I guess that lovely topaz that she offered up to Sarge wasn't quite enough to catch his interest. It's so nice to talk with you, Penny. You are my best friend in all the colony. 
Thank you very much, Sarge. And we know that you're going to keep our kittens safe today. Let's go ahead and munch on the licorice root first. And then maybe some berries too to keep us all nice and full. And then we might as well go us straight off toward the Mystic Colony. We'll just take a detour down by the shore again to pick up some more shells because we know Alyssa loves those. But she doesn't get the chance to visit the beach very often. So she's relying on Penny to bring her all of his treasures. I suppose we could even give her that bass too, since she does seem to prefer fish. Basically, uh, anything that reminds her of the water and of the ocean. And hello, furball. What are you doing way out here? Wow, I don't think I've ever been this hungry. Can't eat till I get home, though. Oh, poor furball. I wish we could give you some of our berries or something. Anything to tie you over? Penny always has extra food in her pockets to munch on because she knows how uh, hungry she can get way off in the wilderness, far away from home. She's pretty lucky though because she has learned how to warp directly home. So it's not as if she's going to get stuck out without uh, anything to eat because if things got really bad, she could just pop up right inside her nest again. I think we need one more shell though. There we go, plenty of shells out here. We could even take some extras to uh, leave right by Alyssa's den. Oh my goodness, the storm must have really uh, washed up quite a few of these shells. Alyssa is going to be shocked. The shells don't really help to strengthen their colony, so I don't think they would work well as a colony gifts. It probably wouldn't raise our reputation too much, despite how much Alyssa loves them. Quite a few of the cats there seem to enjoy the more decorative parts of the forest. The different types of plants, the mysterious and the mystical things. Well, I bet they would be quite intrigued to see Penny's glowing fur. Maybe we should consider putting that uh, forest guardian skin back on before we get to their territory. We are just about to cross over into the Swamplands. So yeah, why don't we uh, go ahead and set that up for her? We'll use our Guardian skin, and then we could even go up to the Highlands too. Because this would be a good way to send a message, I think. A good way to get our message across to Leo in particular to show him that we are not to be messed with anymore. But I think the Mystic Colony is right off on uh, the next tile here. We're actually visiting a little bit earlier than usual today, so I hope we're not going to scare these cats too much. Oh hi, you startled me. How are you today? This weather would be a perfect excuse for me to stay inside and sleep all day long, but you know, duty calls. Oh poor Nil. He has to uh, get his work done for the day before he can curl up inside his den. Mm? Oh hello. The clouds are interesting shapes today, aren't they? Oh, Oracle let you into our town? Neat. Maybe we can talk about what the world is like outside the Mystic Colony. If you have the time for it, that is. Yeah, no worries, Mossy. I'm sure we could spare a little bit of time for you. And we can give you some lovely catnip yet again, too. Oh, excellent. We have our third star. That's no surprise, though. She really likes the stuff. And then Crampy, since you also really seem to enjoy the catnip, we'll go ahead and uh, give you another one of these too. Now Alyssa, hopefully she's around the colony today. Though it seems as though Savannah may have wandered off again. Oh, I wonder if uh, they're up in the north. Alyssa seems to be waiting for her if she is. I have a lot to do today, so I can't really talk at the moment, but I am glad that you came by. Maybe some other time? Okay, Alyssa, no worries. We know that you have a lot on your plate, but we do have some shells to give you. So we'll just uh, toss these in your direction and hopefully raise some of our little stars in the process so you'll be more willing to potentially be our friend. But yeah, I'm pretty sure Savannah was lurking somewhere around here before. We didn't see her, but she walked down from this tile. So I'm just curious if maybe she's wandering around somewhere by the swamps. So far it seems awfully bare though. Just toads and crows. I don't even see any little trinkets that might interest her in all honesty. Very, very mysterious. 
Well, I guess we'll go ahead and scoop up one of the toads if we can. We'll have to chase him down first. Okay, little guy. Man, maybe Penny is not cut out for catching toads. I think he's going to hop right off the screen. Maybe it was the glowing fur. Maybe that was uh, what gave her away. But since Savannah doesn't seem to be out here, let's um, go back to the Mystic Colony and just make sure that we're giving them their gifts too. I think I still do have a couple of marigolds left in my pockets. And we know that they seem to really appreciate these before. So hopefully we can uh, get to the next level with their colony. If you're ever looking to join up with our colony, just let me know. I might be able to work something out. Oh my gosh. So now that we've hit 75%, they're actually willing to like take us in, I guess. Well, Penny's not exactly looking to uh, change colonies anytime soon, but I do appreciate the offer, Oracle, and hopefully that means good things between the forest and the mystic colony in the future. Let's uh, talk to the Oracle, too. We don't often get the chance to just get to know her. Watch what you're doing around here. You're not from the Mystic Colonies, so we'll be keeping a close eye on you. And that's why, because she is the Mystic Colonies guard, so that means that she has to be a little bit uh, standoffish toward us, I guess. She needs to make sure that we're not going to cause any troubles. But I wonder if she would like different types of herbs, too? Maybe to help with her visions? So let's try the Valerian first. Oh dear. Oracle is displeased with your lack of understanding. Perhaps one day you will learn. Oh no, I don't mean to offend you, Oracle. I thought maybe that would help. Okay, so no Valerian, we know that now. Maybe she would like lavender instead, or even the scallop shells? Let's try the shells next. Maybe she enjoys the same sort of things as her leader. A wisely chosen gift may sway the heart of even the most stoic cat. Oh, excellent, you have chosen well. So the shells are a much, much better thing for us to give to the Oracle. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. Actually, if I could figure out where your den is, then I could place some of these down for you too. But for now, we'll just make sure that we uh, plop a couple of these extra shells right next to Alyssa's den. So hopefully we can give her some more in the future, next time we uh, come by to visit. But now we have a very big task ahead of us. We need to go back up to the highlands and see who's trying to take over our territory. I'm afraid that might actually be the Mystic Colony. I'm a little bit worried because uh, it's so close to the Swamplands. And I hate to tear into their cats while we're trying to carve out our alliance. But we have to keep our pathway safe. Then we can use our leftover lavender to spread around those tiles in the north. And then hopefully our diplomacy skill will be enough to take over our Highland Lake. Hello, little guy. It's nice to see yet again that we still have our reinforcements out here. We'll just pick up some extra marigolds and then get to work. Yeah, unfortunately it is the Mystic Colony. So we're going to have to uh, take care of their patrolling guards. So we can keep this land. Actually, one of them ran straight back into their territory. Oh, that's a little bit sad. I bet they're going to alert uh, Alyssa. Hopefully she's not going to be too upset. Once we do get the chance to uh, talk about the terms of our alliance, I'm sure she'll understand. But let's zip up here before it gets too late. The Highland North. We can spread a couple more of these uh, little lavender plants to claim this tile for our own. And then I believe our Highland Lake, our beloved Highland Lake, should be off to the right. There we go. So our Diplomacy 5 skill is almost enough to take it over. And that means one last lavender plant. And we finally have the Highland Lake under our control. Oh my gosh. Forest Colony Green. So interestingly enough, the Mountain Domain is still controlling the tiles underneath us. So I guess their territory doesn't work quite the same as ours does. We actually had to build this pathway all the way up to the corner before we could truly claim this territory. Oh, and hello, little bunny. There's a black hair nosing around our bunny pile. Okay, maybe we can catch this guy too. 
If he doesn't notice our glowing fur, oh no, but straight into the trees, we might actually be able to uh, catch you after all if we're crafty. There we go, just in time for the rain to stop too. We'll pick up the extra lavender, plop this little uh, black hair right down in the stash, and then return home. Unfortunately, Penny is going to be waking up a little bit late in the morning, but I'm sure Scout will understand because we had uh, quite a bit of a work to finish off. We have some berries to harvest as soon as we wake up, and then we'll have to see if any of our other kittens are going to open their eyes too. Oh, with Penny's bright glowing fur. Imagine if that was the first glimpse of your mother. Well, for Piper, it might just be. Hello, sweetie. Hi. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. I try to sleep under the grass tonight. I like dark. Okay, Piper. That's perfectly fine. We hope you're going to like some of the gifts that we've picked out for you too. And we'll have to give a raven some more of the prey that she loves so much. Carry me, carry me, Penny, Penny. Oh, she wants to go on an adventure so bad. Well, hopefully not too much longer, little one. We'll give you these delicious rabbits that you love so much. And then we'll see if your sister Piper is uh, interested in all of these gifts too. The bunnies first. I hope you'll like it. Uh, maybe not. That's not a very enthusiastic response. Maybe the uh, dove instead? Let's see if she likes birds. Whoa, I like. Okay, that was a little bit better. So she doesn't like your bunnies, Scout. At least you don't have to worry about all of our kittens stealing your breakfast. But let's see if she likes the shells from the beach. Just like uh, so many of the Mystic Colony cats. Whoa, I like. All right, good. So she does actually enjoy some of the uh, little trinkets and treasures that we can find in the sand. We'll have to keep that in mind. Your kitten sleeps soundly. Poor little Starling isn't awake yet. And Finch, the very heavy sleeper. Of course, he would still be sleeping soundly too. Our cats are all waking up. Our little babies are growing. I love you, Penny. I'm glad you still put up with my antics. Of course, Scout, and I'm glad you put up with ours, too. Coming home late at night, glowing with the blessings of the forest guardian. Penny's unique quirks are probably just as uh, difficult to put up with. Before we leave, though, let's uh, check our skills. Because, yeah, look at that. 500 experience points. Okay, maybe it's time to upgrade our foraging skill then. Maybe it's time that we become the master foragers of the forest as well. So I think you guys mentioned that once we max out our foraging skill, we should be able to uh, see all of the little plants on the mini-map too. Let's scoot outside and go off to uh, the left over here so we can see if that's true. Oh, there we go. Look at all those plants. Golden seals to collect. And it does disappear once uh, they're gone. That's a good way for us to potentially collect some more catnip too. So Penny is going to have quite a bit of treasures to bring home pretty soon. But first, let's make sure that we stop and talk to all of the cats of the forest. I got you this golden seal as a present. What do you think? Have a great day, Penny. All right, Mare. He's been giving us quite a few gifts lately. And he's staying right by the den, too. He's probably just uh, keeping guard, making sure the future of the colony is well protected. I've been thinking about getting my fur tied to a tabby color. All right, so she's getting a little bit closer to making her decision. Up here by Ember's shop where he sells all of his different fur dyes. I wonder if one of our kittens might even enjoy to uh, have a different color fur too. Hey Penny, where does the cat go if they lose their tail? Ember, you've already told us this one. They go to the retail store. Still need to work a little bit on the delivery. And hopefully he'll uh, have a new pun to share with us soon. Penny, I'm so glad that you stopped by to see me. Hey, Penny, I got this crow for you. Hope you like it. Excellent. Sarge knows exactly what to give us. I'd even be willing to say that maybe aside from Scout, Sarge might be Penny's best friend in the entire forest. Been forever since I've seen any catnip growing around the forest. 
Hey, if you see any, you should bring me some penny. Well, that might actually be our fault, Lyris. So we will uh, definitely keep that in mind. Poor Lyris, he's probably scouting all over high and low for catnip, but Penny keeps us uh, scooping it up to give to the other colonies. Now before we head out, I would actually like to swap around our pets. We'll go ahead and uh, leave Smokey the Dragonfly with Missy, and we'll take Aqua the Turtle today. We could use your help too getting that message across to Leo as we head back up to the Highlands and hopefully widen our pathway a little bit more. There aren't any battles taking place in that area right now, but I wouldn't be surprised if Leo has sent his guards, of course, all of his warriors into the area looking for a penny cap. And with her glowing fur, she is likely to attract their attention quite easily. But we're ready, Aqua. With you behind us, there's no way we can fail. Let's try chipping away at the territory that's right below the uh, lake first. Because we don't want to give the mountain domain any little pockets where they could possibly rest. We don't want them lurking right beneath where our kittens are going to set up their homes in the future either. So let's scoot on over here at the Highland East and we'll use our diplomacy skill first. Then we can uh, start spreading the lavender all around the land with our newfound master foraging skills. That actually makes it so the lavender is a little bit more, I guess, potent too. A little bit more effective as we use it. So we need to use uh, less of them to take over the territory. Then we can use the last one we have or uh, an extra one too, excellent. To hopefully uh, take over a little bit more control on this tile as well, the Highland Southeast, with the lovely ponds and lakes for our cats to fish in. Oh, and it looks like we do actually have a little morsel to scoop up for ourselves, if it doesn't notice our glowing fur, of course. Yeah, it's gotta be pretty tricky to hunt down prey when you're glowing like the forest guardian, but Penny is not going to give up. So now that Piper has opened her eyes too, we'll have to- oh my gosh! Was it that actually a blue jay? Oh, Penny! Oh no, of all the things for you to scare away! Oh, that is so upsetting. There was actually a blue jay hanging out with all of these doves, and she scared it right away with her glowing fur. What were we just talking about, Penny Cat? Well, I guess it's a good omen that you at least uh, saw a blue jay. That has to be pretty good luck, right? Oh, and it looks like Vicky might be looking for some blue jays of her own and almond. Wait a second. They're not going to fight us? Oh my gosh, is it because we're such good friends with the Mystic Colony right now? That's very interesting. I don't want to disturb them by a swiping because if we can keep the peace, we might as well. So now we potentially have even more reinforcements to join us in those skirmishes. Very, very interesting. I guess we impressed Alyssa a little bit more than she let on. It must have been all of those shells that we left in her territory. I bet she really appreciated those. But now that it's getting so super late, we might as well return home. We'll go ahead and uh, see all of our little kittens as they sleep in the den. Yeah, we'll have to try to figure out what Piper would like too. Now that she is the uh, second kitten to officially open her eyes. I wonder if Finch is actually going to be the last since he's such a heavy sleeper. Or maybe it'll be Starling because he seems to just love dreaming away inside his nest. Your kitten sleeps soundly. And how about Piper now that she's opened her eyes? Oh, we can't actually uh, talk to her anymore while she's asleep. And the same with Raven too. Okay, well that makes sense, I suppose. Penny would rather uh, spend her time talking to them when they can actually interact back. We'll go ahead and put her Penny Cat skin back on, though. And then, uh, I think Penny is going to have to start moving all of the items to these storage boxes. That is probably the next order of business. We have all of our herbs inside this one, which is a much, much better place to put them than on the floor. And then we should fill up one of these boxes with all of our birds, too. Our crows and our doves and uh, our little bunny snacks as well. Some of our very favorite foods so we know we'll never run low. 
It'll be nice to finally clean this place up a little bit. It has certainly been a long time coming, and hopefully pretty soon we'll have enough muse to make even more storage rooms in the future. But for now, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys!